Hey there, it's Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy, and um, I have a really cute, simple card for you today. Now, this card I picked up my swaps from some with demonstrator swap, and I'll show you. I think I'm going to try to do a video tomorrow with all my swaps, and I have like three months worth of team swaps and a demo swap that I do and tons of swaps to show you. But anyway, this here was a good friend of mine. Her name is Rhonda Williams. And she did this swap and I called her, asked her if I could case it. And this is what I came up with. Now, Wanda used the hand-pinned bundle. I think that's what it's called. It's on, the, it's on page 105 of the annual catalog, along with the DPS here, or the DSP. Boy, I'm having trouble. Anyway, and she used the um, basic border dies like this and they come with these six dies and she used this one right here which is exactly what I did only I used the contour bundle so because I don't have this bundle but I went ahead and used the con a color and contour bundle and look how cute that turns out so really with this layout you could use almost any stamp set but then I got to thinking that the color contour dies which is the whole reason I bought this bundle is because I fell in love with these layering dies right here and this is called the oh all my pieces are in the way the scallop contour dies but this one comes with a border like this so i thought i'm gonna go ahead and make another card that uses this border instead of these borders and then at the end we'll compare the two and see which one we liked better so let's go ahead and jump in there i'm gonna start with stamping so i have a piece of basic white cardstock and that color and card tour die, we're going to start with this big stamp here. I'm going to ink it up just with some black memento ink on my piece of scratch paper here. Or my, not my scratch paper, my basic white. Blah, blah, blah. Must be Friday morning, right? Because I am should have had a cup of tea or something before. Okay, I'm going to lay this down right here. Let that ink sink in and get a good image there. Nice. Okay, and then with just a little bit of polished pink, that's one of those new in colors that I just absolutely love. I'm going to take the second stamp here, the two-step stamping, and just lay that down on the flowers here. Give them a little bit of color. There we go. Now, this stamp set didn't come with um, a second stamp for the leaves, but I'm going to just take my soft succulent blend here and just add a little bit of color to the leaves. And it doesn't, you know, not a lot. It won't take much, we just need a little bit of green on there. Or at least I should say I do. I like it better that way. Okay, just a little bit like that. Now, let's do some die cutting. So we'll bring in those dies. We're gonna need this die for our edge. This is the die that Wanda used, so I'm gonna use the same one on the front, and then this one's gonna cut out our flowers. And let's um, let's do let's do the edge first because I'm going to use my grid paper here. I have a piece of a piece of polished pink, and I'm going to line up my paper with my grid paper to make sure it's straight. And then I think I'm going to go in about four, one, two, three, four little squares, and line up my die. So now that I know it's straight. And then with just a little bit of washi tape here, I'm gonna just hold that down. And I'm gonna put my washi tape on this side just in case it sticks to my paper. This is, we're not gonna use this side, I'm gonna use this side so that way now I know he's stuck on there. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring in my platform and base, one, two, and three. Set my paper on there. Now I know he won't move because of that washi tape. Now he's ready, bring in my machine and just cut the edge on that um, card base that I have there. And I think using the grid paper is the best way to make sure that that edge is straight because I'd hate to have a wonky edge of my card. Ooh, and look how pretty, can you see the stitching on there? I think this is gonna be really pretty. I'm gonna just set that aside, bring in that basic white whoop, that I stamped on. That's not the right one. Here he is. That must be the inside of my card. I'm gonna lay this 
And then once again, I'm gonna just use the washi tape. I've been getting in the habit of using the washi tape. And then it just does hold your um, dye right on your image where you want it. Because usually I'm lazy and I'm trying to get out of being lazy and just put the washi tape down first thing. And then while I'm at it, I might as well go ahead and cut out that um, scalloped rectangle too. Put that on there, get this out of the way. Bring my machine back in and we'll run those through the die cut machine. Okay. I think we're all done with the die cut machine and now we have all of our pieces. Look how pretty that cut out. That's a really pretty flower right there. Okay, we'll lay those aside. I don't need those anymore. And the coloring on my stem worked out just right with how it was die cut. Okay, so this would be the inside of my card. This is just um, five and a fourth by four. Let me find some tape here. And then I have a piece of designer series paper. Now this is from the Pansy paper pack, the designer series pack. I love this paper, probably because it's just part of the end colors and then you know I have all the ink colors and they all match and it goes together, plus it's really pretty patterns. But I'm gonna just lay this on the very edge of the inside of my card. Bring in the card base, let's fold on that score line. So this started out as eight and a half by five and a half, and like I said, I just cut off a little bit with that edge. Oh yeah, this is gonna be pretty, we'll have to see which one we like better, if we like this edge better or if we like the um, other edge. Laying in bed this morning, I thought of another way that I could do this card, so I think I'm gonna try to do that on Monday. We'll see if I get it designed and if I get my act together. I wanna put a few little words right here. This stamp set has really nice font in it, and I think I'm gonna use this thank you for everything and I'm gonna just bring in some more of that um, Memento Black ink. Ink that up good. And then I'm gonna just set this, try to get it straight. Set this down here in the corner. Hold it in, or hold it down, let that ink sink into the paper. Yeah, look how nice that looks. Okay, then let's take some dimensionals. I'm gonna use the little dimensionals. I think it's easier on this little flower. Oh, you know what, and I changed my mind. I'm gonna put the little dimensionals on the leaves down here, and then I'm gonna put big dimensionals. And I looked all over, I guess I don't have any little white dimensionals, all I have is black, but it works. Take those off. And then what I like to do when you, let me get this off first. When you have a little stem like this, I like to just put a touch or two of liquid glue down here at the bottom. Cause I don't want it to be like flapping, I guess is a good word or sticking up. So then when you put this down, I'm gonna hold, this holds that stem down there, but yet it still has some pop because of those dimensionals I put on there. And then it looks like that, isn't that pretty? Okay, let's put some dimensionals on the back of that. One in the center so our tummy doesn't sag. Oop, almost threw them on the floor. My trash can's on the wrong side. Then we're gonna set this just right here on the side, just like Wanda did on her card. And look how pretty that is. I'm gonna run on my bone folder along here one more time. And then last but not least, we need to put a little bling on there, so I'm gonna bring these in color jewels in. I love these things. And my take a pick tool, or pick up tool, or whatever the heck this thing is called. This thing's great, because you can pick up tool or bling just like that, and then just drop it down wherever you want it. And I think I'm gonna put three of them on there, two little ones and one big one just like that, and look how pretty. Okay, so now let's do the comparison. So this is the card that has the contour die as the edge. And this one uses those um, basic border dies as the edge. 
and see, I think any, either, all three of them are just beautiful. I can't decide which one. I might like this one best. Anyway, you have to let me know. Leave a comment or, or something. Now, if you want the measurements for all my cardstock, you can go to my blog, BeCreativeWithKathy.com, and all the measurements would be on there. You could just um, search under color and contour to find the right post. And then last but not least before I leave you, I want to let you know that I have a couple of my Stampin' Reading packets left. So if you're interested in the class, it's eight cards. I mail you the packet. It's $25, which includes shipping. And there's a video link that shows you how to put the cards together. And of course, I don't have my cards right here. Embarrassing to show. Yes, I do. Hold on. Two seconds. Here they are. So here's my, um, nope. No, I guess I don't have them here. I have a couple of them. All right. I have, there I do have them all. Look, here you go. This is my, um, stamp a greeting class. Like I said, I have a few more packets for the May, June class and you get four or eight to each of four different designs cost is $25. I send you a video link and you put the cards together at your own leisure. And all you have to supply is a black ink pad and a stamp set for your greetings. If you need more information, you can find that on my blog too. Just search stamp, stamp a greeting and you can find the right post. Thanks for watching and we'll see you back here on Monday. Bye-bye.